So, we've been the chew toy for the last few matches. Let's see what happens when we flip it around. Here in the Coliseum. This is Duncan Fisher, and Silesia is going crazy in anticipation. The Steiner fans aren't too happy because local favorite Ellie Meals lost her last five matches and won't get to compete in any of the championships. A real upset. But there is a ton of hopefuls and some real powerhouses left. One dark horse that a lot of people are betting on is rookie favorite Spectre. He slugged his way through each class of competition in this arena. He's earned a crack at the arena title. Way to go, Spectre! Hell yeah. Got my own fangirls and everything. Alright, so first of all, one nice thing about that intro bit is it allows you to get a quick look about who you're going to fuck up. And the first one I'm going to fuck up is this dragon right here. Eventually. Yeah, this doesn't, honestly, this opening engagement doesn't really show off how effective this rig is. Let's see, let's see if I can do better with Fang. Oh, kinda. Oh yeah, that's, that's what we want. Triple shot of Gauss slugs. Damn it, missed. Now that was one heck of a battle. Everyone clustered together. It looks like he was looking this way and that, leaving himself wide open for that final shot. You have to have eyes in the back of your head out there sometimes. The arena championship matches are the real proving ground for the big event, the grand championship. Some of your real big names on the field have their attention divided. Sure, they want to win, but a lot of their focus is on everyone else on the field, how they fight, react, and deal with the unexpected. One mech pilot out there told me that they just want to focus on throwing some monkey wrenches at the new guys. If you already have a spot, Spectre has nailed another. That's two today. Wait, two? That was the... Oh, I must have gone the dragon kill. Yeah, this is loadout. Um, you hit them with a triple stack of Gauss rifles, and then if they're still standing, you just follow it up with a um, with a bit of heavy laser action. I mean... I guess they almost completely knocked out... Oh, it's Peter Dexter again. It took a second to to knock out his, that one uh, torso section. Insanely, insanely powerful. Inspector has got some good eyes. He certainly keeps nailing his shots tonight. Three down, all because they've been in his crosshair. I mean, there was one Cauldronborn. Mental note: must get more Cauldronborns. Uh, there was one interesting one. This didn't make it in. Uh, basically, there was one where I kind of killed everyone a little bit too fast. Um, well, that and also most of the kills were given to other people, and I wanted to get a lot more kills. But that, like that Kid Fox right there. Screw you, buddy. It's a weird one where I unloaded the Gauss Rivals into, uh, I think it was the Black Knight, and it didn't show any damage, and then I fired one heavy laser, and it blew up, so I was like, huh, that was... That's it, that's it, Spectre is now the champion of the Coliseum. From out of nowhere, I haven't seen a performance like this since Gross took the Grand Championship in 62. The sands are choked with debris, and only the best man is left standing. And today, that man is Spectre. The Grand Championship still remains to be played, and I know many of us are wondering whether or not Spectre is prepared to deliver one of the best rookie performances in Solaris history. Until next time, this is Duncan Fisher, live from the Coliseum, signing off. And there you go. Yeah, so I think that by unloading on, it was on, on his rear armor, so it probably didn't show up properly. And that one laser shot just, you know, punched through the rest of his armor and did the engine damage. So all that leaves us now is with the Grand Championship, which only comes up when you do the other champions uh, and Solaris. So with the Coliseum, Solaris, what am I saying? We're now the Coliseum champion, which, you know, because that was the one that we actually won at. And it's also the big, it's the big arena, it's the, it's, that's the showstopper. So, yeah, next time, next time will be, will it be more of the same? Well, there's only one match, and so, you know, I gotta go, gotta go all out and uh, actually try and win it as opposed to having fun. <sighs> hate it when games do that. So, the next video. Next video will be the final Talon operation for Steiner. Video after that will be the championship. And I do have a little plan on how I'm going to do it because it's only one fight. Uh, I do have a plan because it's that one fight, but we've also got those other, the three heavy and the three assault matches that I did not do because apparently Duncan Fisher has some different lines if you do them after the championship. And I've never, I've never heard them. I'd only found this out, you know, via, by doing this Let's Play. Someone mentioned that in the thread. In the thread or on YouTube. Doesn't matter. You guys are all awesome anyway. So I'll see you guys around for that next time. But I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a bonus. Um, because I lost 
I lost the other two champions in um, you know the jungle and the factory because I was too busy enjoying myself. Um, I'll leave you with a little thing just to show you what Duncan has to say if you actually kick everyone's ass and do fantastic. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Kapow, that's it. He swept the jungle. We have a new champion of the jungle arena. He's not some fancy seasoned veteran with big company sponsors. He's come from out of nowhere, and he is on a roll. And in case you're living under a rock, his name is Spectre. An absolutely phenomenal performance. I can't wait to see how this rookie does in Grand Championship. This is one announcer who is dying to see what comes next. Duncan Fisher from the jungle, signing off. Heat exceeding recommended level. Warning, heat level critical. Shutdown imminent. Warning, Spectre, Shutdown he's amazing. Target destroyed. Bam, that is it. The last game of the factory season is over. And who won? Not any of the old favorites. A dark horse named Spectre. In an unbelievable season, he has won in every category in the factory and is now king of the rubble pile. There is still some more left of the season, and just like you, Solaris fans, I'm on the edge of my seat to see just how far this Merc rookie turned champion will go. This is Duncan Fisher, live from the factory, signing off.